Okay, practice test. This is it, ladies and germs. Uh, on your practice final, you're going to get the following. It's going to look just like this. You'll get all these equations here. You're going to get solubility. You're going to get your strong acids here. You will not get an ions list. You're not going to get the common ions list. At this point, you should know what those common ions are, okay? Especially the polyatomic ones like carbonate, sulfate, phosphate, etc. Without further ado, let's start with number one. Bonds between which of the following elements is expected to be most polar? Most polar, so you're looking for a strong, weak attraction. Here's two strongs, here's two weaks. So those are nonpolar. Two weaks, two strongs, and again, two weaks. This is fluorine and phosphorus. Okay, this is definitely a uh, strong, weak attraction. Okay, so it's going to be letter C. Strong, weak. Strong, weak. That's why. Which type of bond is described as a lattice uh, of positive ions in a sea of electrons? Hey, guys, right here, this is a dead giveaway. Sea of electrons. The sea of electron models, all, the sea of electrons model, only applies to one type, and well, that's this guy right there, metallic, letter D. C of electrons is letter D, okay, metallic. Which of the following compounds is ionic? Ionic, that's a metal, metal, and non-metal. You see how I'm doing these? Each one of these I'm looking for some kind of a hint in each one of these. Well, ionic metal and non-metal, that's what they're asking me for. Well, there's a metal, there's a non-metal. Non-metal, 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 metalloid. Okay, silicon metalloid. Yeah. Metalloid. Okay, metalloid. Okay, so this is metal, non-metal. Metallic, it's just gonna be this one right there, okay? I mean metallic, ionic rather. The compound NH42 ammonium carbonate contains how many atoms of hydrogen? Okay, look. Let's go and do this. These guys are connected. These are connected right there. Okay. 2 times 4 hydrogen. 2 times 4 equals 8 hydrogens. Letter D. Alright, next. Let me check my focus here. Looks a little off. Okay, next up. What is the formula for the ionic compound formed when sodium ions and sulfide ions are combined? Okay, so first of all, how many? How many valence and sulfide? Well, it forms a minus two, right? There's uh, there's uh, same as oxygen, so it's six valence. That forms a minus two, right? Or better yet, let's do it like this. Sulfide's charge. Let's just say sulfide's charge. Another way of saying the same thing is minus two. S two minus. Okay, so that means you're going to need how many of these sodiums to cancel that out? You're going to need two sodiums. Sodium's charge is plus one, right? So you need two of those. You need two of those sodiums to cancel that out. So that's going to be letter A. Okay. An unknown element forms. Uh, unknown element X forms a salt with the formula O2. <clears throat> which of the following could be X? Forms a salt. A salt. So that means it's going to be a metal. Metal, non-metal is a salt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so <clears throat> how many, uh, what's, what is, well, you just have to look at how many uh, bond sites oxygen is going to have. So oxygen is going to look like this, right? It's going to go boom, 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 right? So there's two bonding sites for oxygen, right? So that means element X has to have something like this. It's got to have four bonding sites, or four uh, four uh, valence electrons to give away. Okay, that's what's got to happen in order for this thing to cancel out. So it's going to be this guy right here. It's going to be ten 
four plus, right? Because you're gonna have this one and that one, and then this one goes over there and that one goes over there. Okay, so it's gonna be 10, four plus. Which of the following name, which of the following names is correctly paired with its formula? Carbonate, chloride, ferric, or nitrate? Well, nitrate's NO3, ferric is Fe3+, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, chloride is Cl-, minus, so it's going to be carbonate, CO3-2-. Two, two Sorry about that. Yeah, ca uh, letter A, carbonate. Okay, letter A, carbonate. Which of the following uh, is the correct formula for calcium phosphate? Calcium phosphate. Okay, so you got to think back to, well, first of all, you got to look at what calcium is. Calcium's A2 minus. Oops, I'm sorry, 2 plus right here. Okay. And phosphate is PO4 3, uh, three minus. So calcium. Calcium is 2 plus. Phosphate, PO4 3 minus is phosphate. Okay. So you've got a 2 and a 3, common denominator 6, so CA3, PO4, 2. And do we have it there? There it is right there, letter B. Alrighty. What is the name of the compound N2O3? So N2O3, remember now, this is all, uh, these are all uh, nonmetals, okay? So for N2O3, you're going to use your prefixes. Use prefixes for nonmetals. Use prefixes for non. Uh, let's just say for. Uh, uh, oh, geez, hold on. Sorry, I just uh, zoned out there. Use prefixes for covalent, covalent compounds. Okay, so in this case, N2O3, so that's going to be dinitrogen, trioxide. Okay, dinitrogen trioxide. There you go. Di means two, tri means three, nitrogen, and then oxygen, whenever it forms an ion, becomes oxide. So dinitrogen trioxide. Okay, what is the percent carbon in barium carbonate molar mass? is 197.3 grams per mole. Okay, so we gotta figure out what the uh, molar mass for barium is. Okay, so molar mass for barium is 137.3. There's one of them, 137.3. That's one barium, okay, divided by 197.3. And we're gonna take that times 100. And this is Molar mass of barium of Ba, okay? So let's go and do that. 137.3 divided by 197.3 equals times 100. We got 69.5, ooh, that's not right. One moment. Ah, I was doing barium. What do they ask for? See, that's what I get. That's what I get for rushing and not paying attention. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so be careful, let's redo this now. All right, uh, so we've got molar mass of carbon in this case, 12.01 divided by 197.3 times 100. Okay, and that's molar mass of carbon, mm of, of carbon. Okay, so see, I made a big mistake there. Let me try it again. And I did not edit that out. I know some people are going to relish in pointing that out to me. That I made a mistake again in my video. Times 100. Okay, 6.08, 6.09. Round it up. There you go. All right, there's the answer. But at least you got to see how you could do. So if they asked me for barium, what about if they asked me for oxide or for oxygen? I'd have to do three times this O. Okay, I'd have to do three times this. Hey, listen, I'm almost at uh, 10 minutes here, so I'm going to stop this video and start a new one.